In this session, we are going to see how to model a new web application using the Tercer Studio. We start by creating a new project called Clinic, which is going to present information about patients and doctors in a medical clinic. We will drag into the Clinic application three views. First view called Patients. A second view called Doctors. And a third view called Treatments. We now save our model and start the internal application server embedded in the Tercer Studio. Once the clinic application starts, we switch to a browser to view the resulting application. We can see that we have our three views, patients, doctors, and treatments. None of them contain, contains any information at this point of time. So let's switch back to the modeling environment, the Tercer Studio, and add some data to be displayed. Inside the patient's view, we put a patient table containing information about patients. We are going to display inside this table multiple records describing patients. Each record contains the patient's name, the patient's birth date, and gender. We may also want to add an ID. Another thing we may want to add is a button to create a new patient record. We're not going to implement this at, at the moment, so let's notify the user of this fact. We save the updated model and switch back to the browser. Now if we refresh the browser, we will see the changes in the model reflected in the application. We see that we have a new patient's button and we have a patient table which is empty at this point of time. If you press the new patient button, we get the warning that new patient not implemented yet, as we modeled. If we look at the screen, we can see that the new patient button is too close to the patient table. Let's correct it. Go back to the Terso Studio and into the patient view drag a separating line. Again we save the application, switch to the browser and now if we refresh the browser we can see the resulting change. Now the button is separated from the patient table.